Read about herbalism and herbs to start building your knowledge base. Many herbalists begin with self-directed study and learning. Research herbalism online and in books to start your education. Some helpful books for beginning herbalists that provide clear explanations of foundational concepts, have a lot of useful information for practical referencing, and offer action. Ready steps for newcomers who want to experiment, include Medicinal Herbs, A Beginner's Guide by Rosemary Gladstar, The Way of Herbs by Michael Tierra, Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine by Andrew Chevalier. Grow Your Own Herbs, Start Growing Herbs for Your Tinctures and Recipes at Home. This is good practice if you want to grow and sell herbs professionally as an herbalist. It also ensures that your tinctures and recipes will be made with high quality ingredients. Keep your herbs well organized and clearly labeled. Some of the most common herbal supplements include echinacea, evening primrose, ginkgo biloba, ginseng, and saint john's wort. Getting a formal education in herbalism. Attend herbal school online or in person to further your education. There are many herbal schools to choose. Different curriculums and emphases, from scientific, evidence, based to the more folk, traditional. Some are online programs, and others are on, site with physical classrooms and classmates. Research different schools and programs and choose one that fits best with your needs and interests. Attend herbal conferences to ask fellow conference goers about their experiences and what programs and courses they've liked or disliked. Visit https www.americanherbalistsguild.com for a helpful, though not exhaustive, list of good herbal schools. Choose a program with one, 600 plus hours of study. If you want to be a non-clinical career herbalist, opt for a one, two-year program with a minimum of 700 hours. However, to be a practicing clinical herbalist, the American Herbalists Guild recommends choosing a program with a minimum of 1, 600 hours of study at a school of herbal medicine, including a 400-hour clinical requirement. You can learn the basics of herbalism from a 100, 300-hour introductory program. Be aware that there is no certifying agency or licensing board for herbalists in the United States. Launching your herbalist career. Choose your specialties or services depending on interest and demand. There is no single career path for herbalists. Find a niche that you can fill based on your expertise and the needs of the community. For example, you might specialize in making tinctures for specific conditions, like menopause, or work primarily with a particular population, such as pregnant women. Possible livelihoods for herbalists include naturopathic physician or practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine, clinical herbalism, in a private or integrated practice, making herbal products.